guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can clearly see, someone is about to get married again. Mm -mm. I'm just kidding. So I'm just continuing my previous video, which was my makeup look, and I am here to show you some easy hairstyle looks that you guys can clearly achieve at home. It's very simple. All you need is a curler, heat protectant, some pins and brushes, a whole bunch of bobby pins, and don't forget your hairspray. So in this video, I'm going to show you three types of hairs, hair down and curled, hair half updo, and a soft, romantic, messy updo glam. Look, I even got my robe ready for this video, guys. <laughs> if you guys are interested on how I created these looks, then please keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do is always brush your hair. So I'm just going to take a paddle brush just because I have really long hair. Paddle brushes are really good for long hairs because it's not going to pull or snag if you use like a wide tooth comb or like a smaller brush. But yeah, paddle brushes are amazing. This one here, I don't know what brand it is. It is called Earth Therapeutic. What I like about this is that it's like a gel memory type of foam kind of thing where you squeeze it and it stays into place so you have good comfort when you're holding this. And literally, I think I bought it at TJ Maxx. So, very inexpensive. Second step is always apply some kind of heat protectant for your hair. This has been my ultimate favorite for, I don't know, 15 years. I've been using this even before I went to Cosmo school and during and after. It smells so good and it's nice and lightweight and it doesn't leave your hair sticky or tacky, but it does its job by protecting your hair for any heat product that's gonna be applied to next. So the first look we're going to do is basically a half up, half down. It's basically going to be curled. You can either pin it to the side or style a big buffant. So let's just go ahead and get started with the curling first. As always, I'm going to be using my one inch curler because I like that loose wavy look. If you guys have a harder time curling your hair, you can always use a half an inch or a tighter rod just so it can hold a curl and for its longevity. I just choose to have more of a wavier look rather than a ringlet curls. Do you guys notice when I curl the hair, I curl outwards because I wanna have the curls away from my face. I just hold the curls for about five to six seconds and after I hold the curl, I release it into my hand or cupping it and it can actually hold the curl a little bit tighter. I'm sectioning my hair one inch wide, the same width as the curler. Well, I'm gonna continue curling my hair until I reach the crown of my head. When I reach the top, I kind of like to part it horizontally and section moving to the front of my head. And again, I'm curling away from my face. And the reason why I like to do this is because it kind of creates a little bit of volume on top of my head. Since my hair tends to be more on the thinner side and doesn't hold a curl as much, this kind of gives me some body at the crown of my head. If you choose to just have your hair down, you can just fluff it up. You can use your fingers and curl the curls out to soften it. And you can just go about your day like this. Don't forget to give it a quick spray so it holds in place. This is my favorite Theory hairspray and it works really nice because it's a layering hairspray. So if I want to build with it, I definitely can. This will be your look. So for the second look, it was very easy. I just created a little bit of height on the crown of my head and basically just pinned it back. It 
If needed, you can recurl the edges. So this is what I basically did for my wedding day. I just created a little bit of height just on the side here. I left these down because I didn't really want it anything pulled back, but you actually can. Or do you want, you can take a little bit of the little pieces and pin it to the side. But I really just wanted it very relaxed and looking just like this. So for the final look, we're just going to take this and put it up. Very easy and simple. So I'm just going to keep this height here. I'm basically going to part this front section, which is right in front of my ear. Pull the rest back over my shoulder. Same with this side. I'm going to take that front piece in front of the ear and I'll pull the rest back as well. You can take a pin. So I'm going to take that pony and depending where you like your updo to be, sometimes people like it on the low back, high back, to the side. I'm actually going to choose it to be kind of on the right side of my shoulder because I want it to be kind of showing a little bit in the front, but not really, because I don't want to look like I have a big blob on the side of my head, but I do want to show a little bit of it. So I'm just going to take that pony, and you see that in the front here? So what you can do is take little sections of your ponytail. You can recurl them if you like to. And what you can do is kind of roll them around your finger like so and start pinning it into place and it's optional for you to recurl it sometimes your hair could be already nice and curled in my case it's kind of weighing down a little bit so i'm going to recurl them well after you curl that strand this is a trick hold on to your strand and just go upwards and it kind of creates a little bit of texture if you need it you can ball it up and pin it into place for that messy updo bun. You can also take your teasing brush to tease if you don't want to pull on it. And once again, it kind of creates some volume.
Sorry guys, it was really hard for me to pin my hair while talking at the same time, especially being away from you. But this is just a messy updo look. I left a lot of pieces hanging and stringing because I didn't want it so tightly polished. But it looks like this. It definitely could have been a little bit more curlier at the buns. It's just I couldn't see, but basically just got a nice little poof going on where you can see it on the front side instead of being right next to my cheek. I feel like having it a little bit more looser and messier, it kind of gives it like a romantic kind of look and feel. You can always pin more. I like to kind of let it hover over my ears. And I basically tease on this side so it actually looks a bit rounder so my head is not so flat. You can basically pair this with flowers or any pins. I honestly don't have any but I have like a headband that some people like to wear. You can definitely apply it on like a crown. And again just pinning into place. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my three easy hairstylings for bridal looks or even any special events. Don't forget to click my previous video where I actually did the makeup on this look. You guys can recreate this look however the way you like it. You can make it softer, tighter, looser. However, I felt these would be really simple wedding looks or special events or even prom looks that you guys can recreate. Alright guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up guys. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!